Hi, in this video, we're going to throw some light on a very popular concept, which is called the bank rate. Today, if you see on the RBI's website, there are four, four important rate rates that the RBI keeps publishing. The first is repo. You will always see repo being published on RBI's website. The other rate that you will see being published on the RBI's website is the reverse repo. The third rate is marginal standing facility rate. And the fourth rate is the bank rate. These are the four rates that RBI typically publishes on the website. We've learned about all these three rates in my last video, which was marginal standing facility versus liquidity adjustment facility. If you've not seen the video, my suggestion to you to see the video to learn about repo, reverse repo and marginal standing facility. This video is going to throw light on, like I said, a very popular concept called the bank rate. So what's the bank rate? Typically when the bank rate was introduced in the market, bank rate was used for the purpose today that the repo rate is used. So what's the repo rate? We've learned the last time. Say for example, a commercial bank, let's say ICICI bank, wants to raise money. One of the sources of funds for ICI say to raise money is taking money from RBI, which is the central bank. But when the central bank gives money to ICICI, they don't give it free of cost. So the interest that ICICI pays RBI, we call that interest as the repo rate. This repo rate that you are kind of accustomed to now was the bank rate initially. So when bank rate was introduced initially whenever RBI used to lend money to commercial bank the interest that the commercial bank paid RBI was the bank rate but later over period of time bank bank rate was replaced by the repo rate that we know today so now after the bank rate has been replaced by the repo rate for the lending rate from the commercial bank from the central bank to the commercial bank. What is the actual use of the bank rate in today's world? So there are six different specific uses of the bank rate that we are going to discuss in this video, post which you should understand the major reason for the bank rate to exist even after it got replaced by the reverse repo. Sorry, the repo. So the first reason why the bank rate still prevails is because this is the rate, so the bank rate is the rate at which now RBI lends money to the government. So government typically is always in need of money in India. So whenever government wants to raise some funds, it goes to RBI. RBI lends that required amount of money to the government. Now that money does not go free of cost, so the government will have to pay some interest to RBI. The interest that the government pays RBI is the bank rate. So it's the bank rate at which RBI lends money to the government. So it's a constant rate which is typically published so that there is no confusion in the future when government wants to borrow from RBI. It's a rate which is published on the RBI's website and that's the rate at which government and RBI transacts. The second main reason because of which the bank rate exists is because the bank rate is used as a reference for penalty. What do I mean when I say reference for penalty? Let me throw some light on the same. So in marginal standing faci facility and liquidity adjustment facility, we, we understood few terms called NDTL, SLR, CRR. I hope you all remember. So now what happens is every bank is expected to keep an X percentage of NDTL under SLR and CRR. So let's say currently it is 23%, 4% at the time of recording this video. So if the bank has 100 rupees of NDTL, bank will have to keep 23 rupees under SLR and 4 rupees under CRR. Now what if the bank for some reason is not able to maintain this required reserves? Whenever the bank is not able to maintain this required reserves is when the RBI charges a penalty to the commercial bank. Now, what penalty will the RBI charge the commercial bank? 
So the penalty that the RBI charges the commercial bank is typically the bank rate plus something more. So suppose if the shortfall in the requirement under SLR and CRR for was for one day, then for one day the RBI charges 3% over and above the bank rate as penalty. So say for example, current bank rate is 8.75%. This is the actual current rate. Say if ICICI banks bank falls short of its SLR or CRR requirement for a day, the penalty that ICICI bank will have to pay to the RBI is 8.75%, which is the bank rate, plus 3%, which is 11.75%. Now, un please understand 11.75% is a penalty rate for the entire year but you've had a shortfall only for a day so if there is a shortfall of 100 rupees by ICICI on its SLR or CRR requirements for the entire year it has to pay 11.75% but it's fallen short of the requirement only for a day so it does not pay 11.75% on 100 rupees it pays 0.034% which is so 11.75 is for 365 days for a day. I've done a calculation which comes to 0.034. So on a 100 rupee of shortfall, the bank will pay 0.03 rupees as interest for one day as penalty. Suppose if the bank is not able to fulfill the SLR CRR requirements for two days. So after the first day, the penalty is increased from 3% to 5%. So for the second day, the penalty is going to be 8.75%, which is the bank rate, plus 5%, which is 13.75%. So the first use is that the bank rate is the rate at which RBI lends money to the government. The second is it is used as a penal rate to charge for shortfall on the SLR and CRR requirements by the commercial bank. The third most prevailing reason for the bank rate to exist is the use of bills of exchange. Now all of you all I hope are aware of what a bill of exchange is. I'm going to explain to you in the most simplest of the form what a bill of exchange is. Say for example if I'm an exporter, I have exported something for which I am expecting a payment to be received in three months. So now, now that I've exported stuff, I'm going to get my payment after three months, but I want my payment today. So what do I do? I approach the bank. I tell the bank that my importer is going to give me the payment after three months, but I require the money today. So the bank does is bank discounts the money that you are supposed to receive after three months today, today and gives the remaining money back to you. So say for example, if you are supposed to receive hundred rupees three months hence, three months hence, but you want the 100 rupee today. So that 100 rupee becomes the future value. It is discounted. It is discounted for three months, which today will come to, let's say, hypothetically 97 rupees. So the bank will pay the exporter 97 rupees today. Now, when the bank is paying 97 rupees today, the bank also needs this 97 rupees from somewhere. So the bank goes to RBI and rediscounts this bill from RBI. So RBI says I need, so the bank says I need 97 rupees today. So now the RBI rediscounts it and says, okay, take 95 rupees today, 95 rupees today, two rupees the bank will give from its pocket to give the exporter. So the rate at which the rate at which RBI rediscounts the bills of exchange for the bank is typically the bank rate. The fourth most important function of the use of the bank rate is while they use the commercial papers. So what's a commercial paper? Commercial paper is Typically when a corporate is in need of money, the corporate approaches the bank and asks the bank to lend them some money for six months or nine months. So when the bank is lending money to the corporate for six months or nine months, 
the bank issues a promissory note sorry the corporate issues a promissory note saying uh, saying i will return your money back with interest you call that promissory note which the corporate gives the bank as the commercial paper now at what rate at what rate will the bank lend money to the corporate the bank will lend money to the corporate at the bank rate plus the risk that the bank is taking by lending money to that corporate so say for example if it is reliance industries to which the bank wants to lend money under commercial papers so you'll say that the current bank rate is 8.75% plus because you are a huge corporate good balance sheet i'm only going to charge you 25 basis points or 0.25% because there is less risk involved in lending money to you so the bank will lend money to rbi uh, reliance at 9% but if at the same time it is kingfisher airlines kingfisher airlines and let's assume that the bank is still willing to lend money to kingfisher airlines so at what rate will the bank lend money to kingfisher airlines bank rate minimum rate 11.75% plus at least a 5% more is because the risk by lending money to kingfisher airlines is 5% and hence to kingfisher airlines it will be lended at 13.75% so its base bank rate is basically basically the base rate or the benchmark rate plus the risk at which commercial paper transactions are done the fifth thing that i want you to understand about the base rate is you will always see in the current situation when the monetary policy is as per the books that your marginal standing facility and your bank rate is always going to be equal so we are saying that the repo rate is 7.75% currently and the marginal standing facility is typically 100 basis point or 1% higher than the repo rate so we're saying that the marginal standing facility is 8.75 in the current given situation as per the books and as per the current monetary stand the bank rate is also typically 1% higher than the repo rate which is 7.75% plus 1 which is 8.75% and hence we will see unless there is a sudden change in the way policy is played out in india the marginal standing facility and the bank rate they are the same internationally bank rate is the rate which is monitored to try and understand whether the interest rates in the markets are going up or interest rates in the markets are going down so any international investor let's say an fii or an fdi who wants to do an analysis of the macros of the country typically looks at the bank rate movement world over to justify or to understand whether interest rates in the country is high or low and that's how bank rate is very important as a rate for every one of you to understand hope you've understood if you've liked the video do leave us a comment do hit a like on our video would love to hear your comments and also register for our channel subscribe for our channel which is ambition learning solutions and view all the other videos that we've uploaded so far thank you so much